mean, I proposed to Bella so many times. <laughs> like, it's kind of, you had to get married at some point, otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. It looked like you had a, some kind of issue. <laughs> but like doing the birth scene and stuff like that was incredibly different. I've never, it was amazing that it's part of this series. It's so, it's so graphic and weird. But, I mean, hopefully people will enjoy it. In this movie, she, she gets everything she wants. And it all makes sense suddenly. It all clicks. And it's like, you know, some, a lesser person wouldn't have had the strength to stay. And so it's a long, enduring, hard thing that only somebody who had the gusto could take. And I think most girls like to think that that's who they are. Last night was the best night of my existence. What's the rivalry like between you and Jacob? I think it's actually less rivalry because it's like we kind of, we both want the same thing, you know. It's interesting because it, it's, we start out as rivals, um, but the two of them kind of have to put their differences aside and, and it's sort of join forces and actually act like friends, uh, you know, for their one common goal and that's to protect Bella. What was it like working with Robert and Taylor for the fourth time? Um, great. I want to, I, it's funny, whenever anyone asks me, like what I would miss most about the series, it's working with those guys. So um, hopefully I get to do it again sometime. I can't see Bella's future anymore. We don't know what they've bred. We have to protect the tribe before it's too late. And what can fans expect from this film? Hopefully they get the feeling that they got when they read the book. But they, you know, not the same one necessarily, but, you know, I, I, I hope people like it. This this one was an emotional roller coaster for Jacob. I mean, he, he starts out the movie as the same Jacob we've always seen, and he ends it kind of as a man, um, so it, I think it'll be very interesting for the fans to see that transition. Bella.